hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm gonna talk about the rcc drainage that we are going to construct first of all you may see that we have done the blinding this concrete blinding has a thickness of three centimeters so first of all you may see that the excavation had been carried out after the excavation process you may see that we are doing the concrete blinding the total weight of our drainage is going to be 1.2 meters with the help of transit mixer you may see that we are pouring concrete we had placed the levels for each 1 meter we had a slope of 3 centimeters we have to make sure that we give a slope so that the water may flow out. You may see here that after the concrete blinding, we have placed the reinforcement bars for the base as well as for the walls. We have placed the reinforcement bars. Y12 are the U bars, while Y10 are the runners. A spacing of 20 centimeters from center to center has been maintained. So after the placement of reinforcement bars, you may see that we have started pouring concrete into the base. The thickness of the base is going to be maintained at 15 centimeters. While we are constructing this RCC drainage, you may also see that we have placed the reinforcement bars for the excess culvert. For excess culverts, we are constructing the walls with a thickness of 20 centimeters. The base is also having a thickness of 25 centimeters. Apart from the excess culvert, the walls of this RCC drainage will be constructed with a thickness of 15 centimeters. You may see that this is our water collection chamber. The water is going to be entering through this chamber and then it will pass or flow out through this box culvert. So in this chamber we are also going to do the stone pitching. The stone pitching will be done with a thickness of 20 centimeters. Now you may see that we are connecting this our RCC drainage along with the wing wall. So you may see that we are pouring concrete with the help of transit mixer. Total length of this RCC drainage is 150 meters. At each interval of 20 meters, we are also going to construct access slabs so that the people can walk over this RCC drainage. If you have any questions or comments, you can write in the comment box. Guys, you can see that the iron benders are placing the reinforcement bars at the places where we did not pour concrete. Here you may see that we are pouring concrete after the placement of reinforcement bars. This is our access culvert where we had constructed our walls. Now we are going to pour concrete into our decking. You can see here that we are almost through with the construction of our access culvert. This access culvert can be used for people to use their motors and crossover. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until my next video, goodbye.